awesome if we could just measure out two moles of a substance on some kind of mole meter. But there's no way to create a mole meter. That's because a mole is a counted number, and a mole of different substances will have different masses and different volumes. So it's a bit like trying to create a scale that will tell you how many elephants or bananas or pennies are there. It's just impossible. So to deal with this, we measure mass or volume of a substance and simply convert it into moles using a bit of dimensional analysis. So let's look into how to make these calculations. To go from moles to mass, you need to use the molar mass as a conversion factor. Put one mole on the bottom and the grams from the periodic table on top. This causes the units of moles to cancel and it leaves you with grams. Let's try it with water. If you have two and a half moles of water, to convert from grams, we need to use the molar mass. One mole on the bottom and 18 grams on top. Why 18? Because that's the mass of two moles of hydrogen plus the mass of one mole of oxygen, and it's 18 grams per mole. Then you calculate it, and you get 45 grams of water. To go from mass to moles, you again use molar mass. But this time, the grams are on the bottom, and the moles are on top. Let's try it. If we start with 15 grams of water, we can use molar mass to change it into moles of water. Simply put the mass of water on the bottom, one mole on top, and then do the math to get 0.833 moles of water. Now when it comes to volume in moles, you need to know that temperature makes a difference, especially with gases. Avogadro, you know, Avogadro's number guy, he realized that all gases at the same temperature and pressure behave the same way. He said that equal volumes of gases at the same temperature and pressure contain equal numbers of particles. The size of the particles don't matter. Particles of a gas are so incredibly small and there are such large spaces between them that their masses are inconsequential. Most people didn't accept Avogadro's ideas until after he had died because it seemed that the mass of the gas should make a difference, but the experimental data doesn't lie, and Avogadro was right. There are lots of calculations that must be done to figure out the number of moles of a gas at different temperatures and pressures, but there's a quick way to do conversions if the temperature and pressure are at the standard setting. STP stands for Standard Temperature and Pressure, and that's 0 degrees Celsius and 101.3 kilopascals, or 1 atmosphere, ATM. At STP, a mole of any gas occupies a volume of 22.4 liters. So, to go from moles of a substance to the volume in liters, use molar volume at STP, which is 22.4 liters per mole of a substance. You don't need molar mass at all, because any gas at STP will occupy the same volume. Let's try a problem. If you have 3.5 moles of a gas, use the molar volume with moles on the bottom to convert to liters, and you get 78 liters of gas. Again, it doesn't matter which gas it is, so long as it's at STP. If you have 42 liters of a gas at STP, use molar volume again to convert to moles, but this time, liters go on the bottom. When you do the math, you get 1.9 moles of a gas. You can also find out the molar mass of a gas using only its density at STP. Density is grams per liter. If you multiply by the molar volume, liters cancel, and you're left with grams per mole, which is the molar mass of the substance. For example, start with a given density, like 0.902 grams per liter. Multiply by the molar volume, and you get molar mass, 20.2 grams per mole in this case. Now sometimes it helps to sort of make a road map to understand these different conversions that can occur. This map is sometimes called Mole Island, but it's just a tool for understanding conversions. At the center is the mole, but it can be converted to mass, volume, and particles. To convert between moles and mass, you need to know the molar mass from the periodic table. To convert between volume and moles, you need to know the molar volume, which is 22.4 liters per mole at STP. And to convert between particles and moles, you need to know Avogadro's number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd power. And that's the number of particles per mole. Conversions can even take multiple steps. You could start with mass, convert to moles, then convert to volume. This map of Mole Island can help guide your steps before you begin converting. Thanks for watching this episode of Teacher's Pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at SciencePet.